Richmond Fed President Thomas Barkin joins us now to weigh in on all of it. We also have our own Steve Leisman, of course, joining us at Post 9 as well. Good morning to both of you. So, President Barkin, first impressions, looks like a pretty weak jobs report. What do you think? Well, I've been saying that uh, there's been this disconnect between the data we're seeing and what I'm hearing on the ground. And I really do believe in listening to what, hear, what I'm hearing in the economy. Uh, what I've been hearing is normalizing. Um, uh, labor market and better balance, supply has been getting better, uh, demand's coming off, particularly in places like professionals. It's still hot in skilled trades. You still hear a lot of heat in skilled trades. But I, I wasn't surprised. Frankly, I was, uh, it was welcome to see that the, 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 uh, the gradual lessening that we've been expecting is continuing. So does that mean you can be done raising rates? Well, you went right to it, didn't you, Sarah? <laughs> No, I, I'm, I, I'm not going to prejudge that. I, I value the optionality of seeing what we're going to see in the data. And in particular, we're going to get two inflation reports between now and the next meeting. And I think that's what's going to matter to me. Well, it feels like you guys want to be done. Like you feel like you've done enough, right? And you want to see it manifest in the economy. Is that accurate? What I'd say is we want to be done with inflation. Um, but you want to try, you want to trust that, but you want to verify that. So I'd very much like to see inflation continuing to come down. That's what I'm focused on. Tom, I, I get to ask uh, the Fed chair one question. So you have the uh, <laughs> uh, opportunity here to answer the second question I would ask him, which is, at least in the wake of the meeting, and certainly even before the meeting, the market has begun to price out an additional rate hike. Are you comfortable with how the market is priced in that regard, in the sense that are you afraid you're losing optionality to come back and hike again? Well, I'd like to think the markets responded to the data. And so what we saw today was data that showed a gradual lessening of the job market. I think that's uh, what those who would like to not see another rate hike would want to see. Um, we'll see what the inflation comes in. And if the inflation comes in relatively hot, the market will react, I'm sure. If it does come in hot, this idea of doing one more quarter point, it seems almost superfluous, right? I mean, one, if you have inflation that remains high, another quarter point ain't going to fix it, is it? Well, you could say that about every one of the things we do is, does 25 basis points matter or not? I do think uh, the notion of expectations matters a ton. And uh, if you're going to not respond to inflation when it shows elevated, I think expectations will respond to that. And so um, I'm not sure 25 basis points in the end is the answer to all the world's problems. But I do think if you're going to take care of inflation, you've got to respond if it shows up. You want inflation to be over. How will you know when to declare victory? So we're at what, almost 4% on core inflation, you want it to be at 2%. You're not going to wait all the way till it goes down to 2% until you, till you say you're done, right? Well, I'm focused very much at this point of trying to understand the behaviors of price setters. And um, if you go back to 20, 30 years, uh, price setters have been beaten up by the combination of e-commerce, globalization, uh, uh, access to new supply. Um, and the power of big box retailers. And if you go to 2018, 2019, you talk to those folks, you found people who really weren't into raising prices, didn't think they had the power to it. I'm out there talking to price setters now, and there are some who've taken a step back and said, okay, we're on the backside of this. Apparel would be a good example of that. But I still do talk to price setters who are looking to get more price. Um, look at the big consumer products manufacturers. They're interesting to look at their earnings. Uh, 2019, 2018, price up one or two percent, volume up one or two percent. Uh, in the in the midst of the inflation area, price up 12, 13, 18 percent, volume pretty steady. You're still seeing price of those big manufacturers up seven, eight, nine, ten percent. Volume's starting to come off, but I'm looking for the point where you know they're no longer taking outsized price increases because they're worried the volume in the market won't sustain it. 